But if Fire Colorado wants to go forward, it might have to correct past mistakes. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn shows us the hidden treasure buried by urban sprawl. For all the Mile High City's beauty, splendor, and amenities of today, it's lacking some charm of its past. It's difficult because Denver is built out. It's an urban environment. But engineers are determined to bring the past back. There's a certain beauty to, to the natural order. They are literally digging up our lost rivers. The idea here, undo mistakes of the past and bring back rivers and creeks like this one that were buried decades ago. This is the biggest project Denver Public Works has ever taken on. The first link of that project is happening right now. This was underground a few months ago. Now it's an above ground creek for the first time in 100 years. It's called the Montclair Creek Project, a nearly $300 million unearthed river that partially snakes through City Park Golf Course, down 39th Avenue, and eventually here, west of the Coliseum. A greenway complete with a huge new park, climbing wall, and playground where the stream empties into the South Platte. We're going for something that can be activated and and really used by the, the neighborhoods in the area. It's all part of a voter approved green initiative, what's called daylighting of old waterways that were forced into pipes and buried during the Industrial Revolution. Because growth and sprawl was more important than drainage and safety back then. The restoration of natural landscape has many benefits. It slows down water, filters it through vegetation to remove contaminants, and better controls storm runoff. You can put trails on it. It's somewhere that people maybe want to go to and be. Transforming our city from gray to green, one neighborhood at a time. We're getting to, to do right where it had been wrong before. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.